If you look at it, there is uh, something that Naptive calls the push and the pull factors. Why is it that people want to go out, despite the fact that majority of them are embarking on what we call the dangerous journey? The widespread contemporary exploitation of men, women, and children is unacceptable in a country like Nigeria. Over the years, there have been different traditional approaches to prevent trafficking in human beings, protect trafficked persons, and bring criminals to justice. These various techniques have made some impact, but are not enough. There are still many young men out there who don't know what human trafficking is, many young ladies who have been sexually exploited, and many young persons who have been denied the benefits of childhood. There are clear signs in the public that we must renew our techniques to save those that are vulnerable. The Blue Bus Awareness Initiative to Fight Human Trafficking was born out of a renewed commitment by the International Organization for Migration, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, and the Government of Switzerland to raise awareness and direct more attention to the detrimental impact of human trafficking in Nigeria. The Blue Boss Sensitization Campaign is a traveling awareness-raising exposition, enlightening people on the dangers of irregular migration, offering information on how to report cases, and providing counseling to former and potential victims. The unique component uh, when we look at the Blue Bus is it's a one-stop shop where community members can be able to get different information all at the same time. The essence of it is a traveling expository awareness racing campaign that is the essence of it that the vehicle will go on a long distance and in the process you are able to talk to people you are able to reach out to a large number of people the idea was conceived by by the fact that we had a similar campaign a few years ago in switzerland with a pink bus going around several communities to educate people about uh, human trafficking in Switzerland. We had to settle for this uh, idea uh, with the NAPTIP uh, and this was based on the successful implementation of a similar campaign in our IOM office in Switzerland. We were looking at trying to deviate from the traditional way of creating awareness. At the moment, uh, the Blue Bus has visited three key uh, locations, that is uh, Lagos, where we first started the uh, sensitization, and then it has gone to uh, Edo State, where it has been able to uh, do sensitization in 10 communities, and it has also done sensitization in uh, Delta, which was just concluded recently, reaching out also to uh, 10 communities. As part of our expansion, we'll be rolling out similar campaigns, of course, in other endemic areas, but still specifically within these three uh, key uh, states. What basically we've been doing, uh, of course, alongside with um, NAPTIP is uh, as much as possible, uh, work directly with the community members. So uh, in as much as IOM and NAPTIP are leading, we are also working with uh, different community leaders. We've also been able to um, activate the different campaigns through a radio program and we've also been able to activate it through a TV program. We appear in a uniform, which is our T-shirt. We also appear putting on our sun sunglasses, which we call shine your eye. And then if you also look at the bus itself, the bus depicts what we are doing. It shows images, it shows graphics, it shows number that you can call, it shows messages. I think it is very important, I mean, for the public, I know some people know about human trafficking, but a lot of people don't still. Or they might have heard of the, the term, but they don't know exactly what it means. It has given that uh, platform where uh, community members can be able to get um, information, especially when it comes to uh, where to report cases of uh, human trafficking, where also to access uh, information and what kind of signs to look for when it comes to issues of uh, human trafficking. Even in the course of the one we did in Lagos, we had some member or some family 
coming to report cases to us. We also even see some that will tell you that this is ongoing now in a certain area. Can you please tell your people to come there and talk to our people? And then we are also able to, during that period, we are also able to make some arrests. We are also able to stop some people that they were also planning to take away. Human traffickers prey on people who are weak, poor and unaware. Victims go through a lot of dehumanizing experiences in the hands of the traffickers to survive. Some of them work intense labor for more than 18 hours a day without being paid. Some are forced to sleep with men at brothels in our communities, while some others work as domestic servants in different homes. They are abused, paid little, and their rights seized from them. I was brought in to sleep with men. After sleeping with them, she collects the money. Abuse is an understatement. My life was messed up. We try to look at the consequences when it comes to human uh, trafficking. There is always the issue, uh, of course, in terms of exploitation. What we also look at is that uh, it fuels irregular migration. It also fuels corruption. And then it also fuels some kind of economic, uh, this like uh, money laundry, because some of them, when they make those money, they are they want to use it, to, put, to they want to put that money in something to bring it back to Nigeria. It creates negative image for our country. In the process of human trafficking, in the process of irregular migration or smuggling of migrants, you have issues like rape coming in. We have issues like falsification of documents coming in. Even at the height of it, you have some of them becoming dead. To confront the crime of trafficking in persons and irregular migration, the, the political will is important. The political will of the federal government is important. And uh, the federal government is also, in that regard, doing a lot to support NAPTIP in terms of giving us allocation, in terms of giving us the required logistics. Palermo Protocol in 2000 gave rise to creation of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons. And so we have an act of parliament that has created NAPTIP via its law or its act. And so, this is one area in which we guide trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants. You also agree with me that apart from the native law, we also have some other laws. We have the immigration law of 20, 2017. We also have the, the, the law, uh, the, the ECOWAS uh, plan of action on trafficking in persons. And these are when you are now looking at international now. Then also when you also look at uh, local law, we also look at uh, penal code, we also look at criminal laws, we look at Nigerian constitution. So these are laws that guide trafficking in persons and irregular migration. The fight against human trafficking is still on. Thanks to the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, the International Organization for Migration, IOM, and with funding from the Government of Switzerland for launching the Blue Boss Initiative, a project to raise awareness of the dangers of human trafficking among vulnerable people across the country. The project is titled Preventing Trafficking in Persons through a Traveling Awareness Raising Exposition. NAPTIP has continually risen to the challenge of reaching people who are unaware of the various methods traffickers use in getting their victims. In terms of uh, addressing issues of human trafficking, uh, it requires uh, extensive collaboration, uh, both with the state, uh, also including uh, the non-state uh, actors, uh, in terms of coming up with the different uh, strategies that can be able to, uh, that can be used in terms of curbing uh, human trafficking. What we do in NAPTIP and uh, with IOM is we collaborate, we share information, we share intelligence, especially with the law enforcement agency, we synergize. And the area of co coordination is key because whatever we are doing, if it is not coordinated, it's, it's not, we are not going to get it right. Without coordination, uh, we don't get anywhere because uh, there's a lot of actors uh, currently involved in Nigeria uh, and uh, all over the world in uh, fighting human trafficking or preventing human trafficking, uh, raising awareness or supporting victims, uh, giving them uh, psychosocial support. Uh, we also talk about the police uh, who will uh, investigate and uh, persecute. As a UN migration agency, IOM, we are not against the issues of people should not migrate. 
However, what we advocate for is we need to promote safe and orderly uh, migration. This is whereby for anybody who wants to uh, migrate, they need to ensure they have the right uh, information. Since 2017, IOM has assisted in the voluntary return and reintegration of more than 22,500 Nigerian migrants, of which approximately 15% are victims of trafficking from Libya, Mali, Europe and the Middle East, among others. Well, the time Lagos Zona area started the Blue Bus project, it was a rainy season period. So that was a major challenge because sometimes our officers would move out all in the name of going for sensitization for awareness racing campaign and they get to their location and the rain start coming down. So that was a major challenge for us. Part of the major objective of the Blue Bus project is for us to also cancel. We are supposed to also cancel. We are not able to do much of that because everybody knows this kind of security challenges we have now. So everybody is afraid. For you to even actually get the few people that, the few little young ones that we got to actually come into the bus, there were not many. And then some of them were scared. And then we had to now convince them that no, we are not doing anything to you. What we are doing here is for the benefit of everyone, especially your age, your age group, so to say. So we are able to bring in few of them to cancel them and then to also tell them what to watch out for. With the support of the International Organization for Migration, NAPTIP has toured Nigerian states taking the mandate to areas that are mostly affected by human trafficking. The biggest success story I'll credit to uh, reaching to uh, more communities within uh, the stipulated uh, period. Uh, initially, when we conceived this idea, our target was to reach out to the 20 communities in these three uh, locations. Uh, but looking at uh, the impact, especially uh, when we started rolling out the campaign in uh, Lagos, as opposed to them doing 10, they were able to reach out to uh, 18. So and, uh, cumulatively, if we were to look at uh, the success rate, we've been able to reach out to more than 40 communities, which is a double to what um, was initially uh, conceived. And for this, uh, I'll not only attribute to uh, IOM, but I'll also attribute to our different stakeholders on ground, who has really made it uh, easy for the exposition to be carried out in the different communities. This ongoing project is funded by the government of Switzerland through the Swiss State Secretariat for Migration. Well, uh, the Swiss government have been able to do a lot, especially when you are looking at providing the, the required finance. They have, they have been there all the while supporting IOM and supporting Nigerian government. The campaign is very important to us because uh, the prevention of human trafficking is a key element in our migration partnership between Nigeria and Switzerland. Uh, this partnership was established 10 years ago and has grown into a comprehensive, flexible and innovative instrument of cooperation based on mutual trust and respect. Within this partnership, we jointly discuss and address uh, common challenges and interests related to migration and we identify new avenues for collaboration. It is exactly in this spirit that the Blue Bus campaign was born. I want to see a lot of state government coming in. I want to see a lot of private organizations coming in because the truth is that it is highly capital intensive and then if the federal government, the state government, the local government, the NGOs, then the private sector are able to buy into this project, we are going to achieve a lot. The Blue Boss is a one-stop shop where vulnerable migrants, including community members, can get information on risks associated with trafficking in persons, where to report cases and on-the-spot counseling services. If you see something, say something. Help prevent someone from becoming a victim of human trafficking. Stay active in the fight against human trafficking. This video was brought to you by NAPTIP, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons.